to YouTube. It's JP Duff, your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a couple questions and show everyone at home with your new PHEVs what I personally have and how you might be able to apply this in your own home. So how to charge your either BEV, which is battery electric vehicle, or PHEV plug-in hybrid electric vehicle from home. So with that, let's take a peek. So if you'll excuse the mess, it is a little bit, uh, you know, rainy out here, but I wanted to show everyone basically the two setups that I currently have right now. So this guy right here is my charge point level two home setup. It does currently mount. It's an indoor outdoor one. So it is, I can't have it outside since I don't have a uh, garage to house my cars in. So I have uh, obviously my mini and my Tesla. Don't mind the Tesla. I am gonna replace that with an i4 when I have the opportunity and once they start coming in. But what I want to show here is the two main ways you can do this. So a lot of people, you get a level one kind of temporary charger. Now this is Mini's version of it, but it looks the same as BMW since, you know, Mini is BMW and vice versa. But um, these little guys are weather rated, so they can get wet and such. And they plug into just a standard 110 outlet, right? Of course, my little guy is broken at this time, but either way. <clears throat> Main point is, that's always going to be your level one outlet. That's going to basically just simply be a up to 15, 16 foot cord and plug into your J1772 outlet. Now, this is the standard level one and level two little charge adapter. You'll simply plug it in and then it will start to charge your car. Now, for those of you who want to have it a little bit faster, obviously this is not going to be your most efficient way to charge. It's going to be more of like a trickle charge for whatever car you have, whether it's a BEV or a PHEV. Um, that's uh, never going to be your fastest way to do it. For those who don't travel very far, chances are you're going to be more than, more than able to simply use your 110 outlet to completely charge your car um, for your daily drive. If you travel more often, you might want to get one of these guys at level two. Now, I currently have this guy in over here whoops uh it basically goes into my basement i have my wall box all on the other side of my house so that's that but what this plugs into is a much bigger outlet now this particular outlet is something called a um nema 650 it basically looks like a giant version of one of those uh but it gives out 240 volts and a 50 amp breaker which means that this guy charges at a uh, seven kilowatts altogether uh, that comes out to it. The other reason that I chose this guy is I also have a uh, access to it with my uh, charge point app so I can actually see exactly how much I'm using and all that. But with that, it's basically, uh, if you don't want, if you don't believe by the way, see, same J1772 plug, same one you'll find in public chargers and all. So you can use these guys at home. Again, I personally use this one because I don't have a, I don't have a garage to charge in. Now the thing is, if you do have a garage, you don't have to go with a full-blown charger like this. Uh, there are all also, uh, sorry, there are also multiple ways that you can actually uh, connect it. So I, again, I personally have a NEMA 650, which is still a 240 volt, uh, 50 amp um, connection, but you can also get a NEMA 1450. That's the more common one. That's kind of a four plug. I'll show you a little picture of that over here as well as a NEMA 1430, which I'll show over here that only matches out at 30 amps uh, instead of 50. Uh, so the 1430 is not gonna be as fast as the 50 amp versions, but all these are gonna be significantly faster than your 110 volts charging option. So with that, choose the one that works best for you. If you don't wanna go with a full blown uh, indoor outdoor one, you can save a little bit of money, especially if you have a garage. You can get one that uh, there are a whole bunch on things like Amazon that are closer to about 300, 300 to 380 in price instead of about the 600 to 900 in price. And then if you wanna get the ones that are BMW rated, uh, they are currently on back order still at this point, but if they do come out, I'll obviously update that in the comments and uh, description below. But as of right now, they are still unavailable uh, for you to receive outside of just, you know, uh, back orders. But until that point, thanks for being with us for this quick video today. Hope this helped you guys out. And uh, if it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you want anything else, leave comments below. Have a great day.